Hey Smokers, Jirog1 here, and I'm still house-sitting! So, I don't really have a whole lot I can show you guys Well, I'm, uh, I guess you could say, kind of stranded here. Um, so we're just going to take a look at what's inside this iBook box. And this is a iBook G3 uh, in its original box. I haven't actually opened this box. Um, as you can see, it already has been opened many years ago. Um, but yeah, this is uh, the iBook G3. Um, I actually have probably four of these, I think. So uh, we're going to take a look at it. So here we have the specs on the machine. We got a 600 megahertz power PC G3, 120 megabytes of RAM, 20 gigabyte hard disk, combo drive, 12.1 inch TFT active matrix display, 8 megabytes of video memory to accelerate games, um, built in 10100 Ethernet, and uh, even a modem. Ready for wireless networking. I don't know if that actually means it has it ready to go. It says airport ready. Does that mean it has airport? I 400 megabits per second firewire port for connecting a digital video camera. Actual rate will vary. And of course, two 12 megabits per second USB ports. I guess USB 1.1. Didn't sound very attractive, so they had to use uh, different terminology. This part got ripped off because of tape, um, but apparently it has uh, five hours of battery, um, 30 days of free internet service from Earthlink, uh, Microsoft Internet Explorer, and Outlook Express, even Netscape. Yeah, this is all the basic stuff that comes with pretty much any installation of Mac OS 9. Uh, comes with QuickTime, Apple Works, iMovie, iTunes, Palm Desktop, Chromag Rally, aw oh, yeah! The backlight lamp in this product contains mercury, disposed of properly. Man, that shit never would have flied today. Here are the thingies it comes with. The iTunes logo is so old school that it's 3 eighth notes instead of just two. This is before it was called iDisk, and long before it was called, I guess, iCloud Drive? No, it is now, so... Uh, so, if, if you know anything about physics, you can probably tell that it's not sitting in there correctly. In fact, it might not even be in this box at all! Okay, so let's go ahead and open this. Now, I, I really have not opened this box since, uh, I got this, so um, this is just how it was sitting in there. This is the Apple logo piece of cardboard. This is the power adapter, which looks very, very similar to the current design. Uh, this is a... I can see it. Here's the thing that says the wattage. There's too much cord in the way, but... And actually, one of the things is broken off. And this is actually a two-prong cable, which... Interesting. Okay, this is, doesn't really look like it's in very good condition. Uh, cable's sort of bent there. And ever since the first iBook, the boxes for these, or at least the styrofoam for these, have been really curvy bubble-like and make my camera go out of focus. So here we are, the iBook that really is sitting in there in a quite precarious manner, and there's a random screw here, which probably goes in this. Looks like the battery's a little out of alignment or starting to swell there. Um, let's, let's take a closer look. Okay. So this is the iBook G3. I haven't looked at this until now, sort of saving this for you guys, I guess. Um, figured I'd share the experience of um, taking a look at a used computer. Um, yeah, that, that is a troublesome looking battery there. Um, I really doubt that it can hold any charge at all. 
uh, but I'm going to plug it in using the provided adapter to see if it will do anything at all. Usually what happens is someone keeps the whole thing wrapped up in a box, then they get rid of it, and everything is still working and intact. In this case, I don't think the battery is going to really make it. We, we got a green mag safe. It means it's not charging. It's just sort of connected to power. Simple enough. First time boot, I'm assuming this is going to run some early version of OS X. Just because anybody who's used an iBook for any amount of time eventually got out of Mac OS 9 land. We'll see though. We'll see if it even boots at all. And if it doesn't, I'm probably going to install an SSD into it. Damn, this is taking forever. Holy shit. Damn. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, no real surprise there not being able to boot. But I have no more video to make because it doesn't actually work. I found this old copy of the AppleCare Tech Tool Deluxe Disc. It's dated 2006 and it might be from my first Mac Mini, which would be a PowerPC processor, meaning that it would be bootable. That's not going to eject. Whoa! Oh my god! Sweet mouse! Should I let go? Uh... This one's not going to be easy. Um, oh, could have just used the pinhole. Oh, look, the battery's activating. And it's critical. Alright, so let's open the optical try to see just what made that sound. It took me way too long to find one of these. Okay, I'm going to take the battery out because it looks kind of ugly. Paper clips to this sort of thing. Anything. Okay, I don't know what it was having so much fit about. It came right out. It seemed like it's jammed. So, what would be a better idea than to actually put a disc? Actually, just it looks like it's in pretty good condition, too, into a machine that makes that kind of noise? Ooh, doesn't sound like a good idea at all. That's why we're doing it. Okay. And... Oh, God. Uh, boot off the CD, please? That CD's not gonna survive. Never before have I heard an optical drive so fearsome. I really wish you could see my face right now. No, it's not gonna do it. Let's just take off the keyboard for no reason. Oh look, it doesn't even have Wi-Fi. Damn it. I don't even know if that disc is bootable. Let alone this drive being functional. 
Let's see what happened to that CD. It survived! Well, that's the iBook G3. See, I really don't have that much to cover right now, and I don't really have the equipment to make this work. The only other thing I have is this Rogue Mac Mini. And interestingly enough, I actually have a G4 Cube! That I'm probably gonna put an SSD in as well! But of course, not today, because I don't actually have the power supply for that, but uh, uh, that'll have to wait till another video. Uh, we can use this video to, to at least catch up a little bit on some of the things that have been going on with the channel. I'll switch over to looking at something more interesting uh, while I talk about that. But yeah, sorry for the lack of content today, guys. It's just that I can't really do anything right now. Unless you'd be content with watching me do some horrible playthroughs of... Uh, the new Binding of Isaac DLC, but I, I think none of you are really interested in that, so we'll just move right along. Okay, so it looks like I lied a little. I'm going to be playing a little bit of Binding of Isaac here in the background while I talk about a few things about the channel. So it looks like I'm coming up on the uh, 1 million view um, milestone. Not quite there yet. Got a little bit of ways to go. Uh, doesn't really mean too much to me. Uh, someone commented about that, and I figured I'd mention it. Uh, but all it means is that people have gone on your channel and seen it, so it doesn't really mean that they actually care about it. So I, d I don't know why that's people think that's a milestone. It just means people are sort of just passing through, I guess. Um, when it comes to my schedule of making videos, uh, not... I, I really have very little free time, and really I can't do more than a video a week, and sometimes it's a little bit hard to even do that. Uh, so if you're seeing a video come out a little bit late, uh, that's why. Uh, I'm actually work trying to fit in uh, and work on an album, and I'm working on, uh, on another one coming out. It's going to be called something along the lines of malware and something I don't know I haven't decided on a title yet but uh, we'll see um, so uh, I'm gonna do a little thing here I don't know if I'm gonna make a habit of it but it's gonna be called the uh, mailbag uh, where I take a look at some of the comments and uh, reply to them in video form rather than replying to them in common form just because they seem relevant uh, Lord play gaming slash cold DZY 108 says we want part five of the power mac g4 part five um that's probably the longest series i have going right now um so i might make a part five i think i've pretty much exhausted all the options for uh that computer but uh i, I suppose i could do like a processor upgrade or something on it uh carter farrell uh is asking uh can you get stunt track driver on Windows 8, and I really don't know. I don't run Windows 8 on any of my computers, uh, so I wouldn't be able to test it, but I don't see why not. Um, give it a try. Um, maybe I'll make a video about it? Don't know. Uh, Kochi Yoshino wants to know how to download Wingnuts for Windows. Um, I can't uh, say I openly condone piracy on the channel, but uh, that might be your only option because Freeverse's website is shut down. You can check to see if it exists on archive.org. That's where I downloaded the Mac version. Uh, they offer the Mac version, the full version, for Mac for free. Uh, but uh, other than that, I'm not sure. Razor Callahan, a.k.a. Barney Calhoun. Uh, what size TV do you use? Um, uh, well, it's not my TV, but it's a 19-inch screen. Uh, it has uh, VGA input, coaxial input, component input, as video input, composite. You know, it's just, it's, it's got a pretty good number of inputs, but uh, can't really say anything more about that. WC Brow 01. Uh, why you know keep WinXP SSD PC? Uh, if I have any more computers in my house, I'm probably going to go insane, so I need to get rid of some of them. 
even though I was quite fond of this one. Cryas Toss Lapat, aka the guy who says lol on my channel all the time, says hi! Hi. Uh, blurred man, the HD patch for AoE looks interesting. Will it work with Windows 98? Another thing, however, is I like the true MIDI. Is there an option to use default MIDI over the MP3 replacement? Thanks. Um, I might actually make a video of trying to get that working on Windows 98. Um, but you could try finding wherever the MP3 files are that came with the patch and deleting them, and it might default to using the MIDI. Uh, I don't know if it'll work on Windows 98. You can check the mod DB page. Um, you could probably get away with it. I'm assuming it does, just because Windows uh, 98 is you know, the preferred platform for running that game on. It should work. Unless they did some weird stuff with the mod that makes it unplayable on Windows 98. It, it should. Give it a shot. Uh... Emeraldi wants to know where I get my PCs, and I get them just randomly from random places in different situations, and it's slowly making me insane. PGJ1997, you sound like DanoOct1. Um, I actually sent a message to DanoOct1 saying that our usernames looked very, very similar. Uh, I haven't seen many of his videos recently, but uh, I was pretty a pretty avid fan for quite some time. His videos are very, very enjoyable. Um, it would be kind of cool if we could do some sort of co-op video, but I really don't know how I would do that, since malware kind of scares me. For everybody that was asking about the IDE to SATA adapter, it really, really sucks, and I just thought it was kind of a fun thing to use just because it actually existed. Um, I never thought there would be actually a device to go from IDE to SATA to totally different generations of hard disk connector. Uh, working together like that is just mind-boggling how it worked in almost every situation I threw it at. Uh, so it was sort of a comedic thing that that actually worked just to shove two things together of totally uh, different eras and actually it's the only way to sort of cross that barrier into older computers um, uh, with ssds because anything that's older than like 2000 xp just hates sata with a passion or at least i haven't been able to get it working right uh so S real SSDs are sort of not a very viable option unless you want to buy a really old SSD for like a million dollars. I don't know about that. Ahmad Shatila, who sort of reminds me of the Barney Calhoun avatar guy from a couple comments ago. Uh, hey Draga, do you own a slice and hook CD? It's an old golf game from Windows 98, and no, I don't. I did uh, actually have some other golf game called, I don't know, it, it came with Sim City, and it had this one Star Trek theme parody MIDI that came with it, and it was so close, I'm not sure how they didn't get a copyright infringement for using it. Anyway, going way off track. Uh, Timmy Graham uh, says, Windows 3.1 on a SSD. Now, I sort of did that with the... Uh, SD card, uh, Ultimate DOS Machine Redemption Direction. Uh, but uh, trying to put operating systems that are quite that old onto SSDs, you're not really going to see too much of a speed increase, um, especially if you're using it on like newer hardware like I was, like a Pentium 3. Uh, it's already probably going to be able to read the whole operating system in the memory so fast already that there's not going to be too much benefit to to putting it on a solid state medium but you know uh, and then of course you have to dedicate a whole ssd to windows th to a windows 3.1 install and it's only going to use about 500 megs worth of space so the the whole rest of the drive can't even be used um, i did that the absolute best i could with that sd card and i only got what three gig two three gigs out of it uh, so I'm going to wrap up here uh, and just cover one more thing. Uh, uh, for those of you who are wondering, I'm really just making these videos for fun and maybe to get a few laughs. Uh, a few of you have pointed out that these videos aren't exactly spot on when it comes to their technical accuracy. 
I'm really just going off uh, my current knowledge. Uh, I don't really know everything, obviously. Uh, for a couple of videos, namely the uh, Raid Zero video, I was really cramped for time and I didn't have a whole lot of time to research raids, so, uh, and, and I didn't really know that much about it, so uh, sorry for any technical uh, mishaps, uh, inaccuracies in any of these videos, because I only have so much time to make them, uh, and I'm, I'm just really ha trying to have some fun. Uh, so thanks everybody for watching, uh, hopefully the uh, Binding of Isaac footage in the background wasn't too bad. Uh, I'm trying to use my... Uh, macbook pro along with the mac version of open broadcaster to record the footage and it really doesn't look too good uh this is probably as good as it's gonna get until i can get back to my normal setup so uh so sorry about the quality and the and the lack of content guys next week will be sort of hopefully more of a normal video especially when i can get a little bit more sleep hopefully so thanks everybody for watching thanks for subscribing uh and uh i hope you all have a nice day